How y'all brothers doing? How, how y'all doing? Y'all ever heard this before? We must, we must understand that our people, we are God's chosen people. We are the Israelites. What's your nationality, if, if you don't mind me asking? What's your nationality? Because we haven't been taught that as a as a whole, right? We've been taught things like we're a color, right? Black, black is a color. How you gonna how you gonna uh, categorize me to a color? I am a people. I'm somebody. Especially because I was created by God to have a specific purpose, a high value purpose at that. That's right. And then when we got conquered, what did they tell us? We're your color. They told us we're Negro, we're African American, we're not those things. Your people out here, y'all royalty for real. We ain't out here just saying that just to make you feel good. That's what God said. You are royalty. And it's time for us to start acting like it. What comes with royalty? Responsibility. Discipline. Give me your wisdom of Solomon, uh, Solomon chapter 1 verse 5. That's one thing our people don't really, we don't really have together. But we, we got to start to eventually start to implement those things. Y'all like being out here in the ghetto? We supposed to be ruling this earth. That's right. Mm -hmm. That was our God-given position. But look where we are. Y'all ain't tired of this already? Our people out here strung out on drugs, homeless everywhere. It's time for us to raise up as a people, man, and stop playing. Because Christ is coming back. He's coming back. But he's coming back only for the few that change and start to implement these words. Read what you got. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline. For the Holy Spirit, right? A lot of our people, we claim that we, we know God, right? We claim that, you know, uh, we have a personal relationship with Christ and things like that, right? We have the Holy Spirit. That's what our people say, right? But read it again. For the Holy Spirit of discipline the holy spirit of discipline so if i know that you have the holy ghost i'm gonna see the discipline implemented by yourself according to god's word you know? we'll flee deceit we'll flee deceit what's deceit according to the bible your sin your sin your sin the reason why we're in this predicament is because of our sins so what do we have to do in order to rule the earth like we're supposed to be we have to come out of our sin we have to keep god's commandments all right uh give me uh the seventh exodus uh 16. right so we're we're gonna start to go into a couple of sins that our people out here are committing right or yeah committing right today you know what today is today is the sabbath you ever heard of that? The Holy Sabbath, right? That God ordained and made holy for our people to rest, right? Today, we're not supposed to be buying. We're not supposed to be selling. We're not supposed to be working. But right here in front of the shop and go, you got people doing what? They buying and selling and doing all kind of sin. That, that's one of the reasons why God still has us out here, his chosen people, right? God loves his people. He loves us. He, he has ex extreme mercy on his people. But guess what? We still out here. You know why? Because he's waiting on something. He's waiting on you, so-called black men, to step up and lead your nation. All right. All right. Read on. The book, of, the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. All right. Remember the Sabbath day. The scriptures say, remember the Sabbath day. This is one of the things we must do in order to inherit the world. We have to remember the Sabbath day. All right, read. Remember the Sabbath day right. to keep it holy. To keep it holy. Read on. Six days shall thou labor. Right. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So the scriptures say six days we have to labor, right? To make money, to work. Read on. But the seventh day is the sabbath of the lord thy god but that seventh day he wants he wants that to be a a special day uh uh uh, uh uncommon day right a not normal day 
a, a, a holy day separate from the others, right? Today is that Sabbath. Our people, we don't know that as a whole. That's why we're out here to teach our people, right? Christ is coming back soon. He's coming back soon for the, the Israelite men and women that keep the commandments, right? That revert back to keeping the commandments. This is one commandment that you must keep in order to be found worthy of God, uh, God's redemption. All right, read on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Right. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, right. nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. So on this day, we are commanded by God. We are commanded to not work, not buy, not sell. We're supposed to rest on this day. And if we are working, we're just putting in work for, for God, that's, that's right? Because this can be deemed as work, right? You out here, you know, teaching to the people, right? But this was ordained as something holy. Us coming out to the people, that's God's work. Those six days that uh, the most I was talking about, that was for our own pleasures. Make your money, do what you gotta do. But that seventh day, that's my day. That's my day. And that's what we must start to implement. You brothers out here, you so-called black men, y'all must keep the Sabbath, not only for yourselves, but for your people around you. We are in a dead state, man. Y'all ain't telling your, your people, look, look, just look around how we all out here. When you go in, in, in you know, downtowns and some of these other uh, suburban neighborhoods, they fill with what race? What race of people are they filled with? The, the higher quality areas. Mainly not your people, but we just read that we're a holy people and God created this earth for us, right? We're still in sin. We're still in sin. We're still not keeping God's commandments. And as soon as we come out of that, tables are, are turned. Everything is in reverse. We're going to be the top and not the bottom. Right. Right? But it takes discipline for us to get there. And God is just waiting. And when that number is filled up, whoever's not ready, you're going to be left behind. You don't want to be in that position, man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.